Good morning. Thank you very much for this opportunity. My name is Joanne Simon. I'm a former president of the Borham Hill Association, in which neighborhood the Pacific Branch is located, a, a Pacific Branch of the Brooklyn Public Library. Uh, I'm also the uh, Democratic District Leader for the 52nd Assembly District. This library is also within the 52nd. Um, much of the downtown Brooklyn plan was also in the 52nd Assembly District. At the time the downtown plan was approved, the neighborhoods got together, and as you may imagine, in an area like downtown Brooklyn, land use and transportation are so integrally linked. Uh, we came up with a variety of proposals to enhance the downtown Brooklyn plan and uh, supported very much the location of a library at the BAM South site and I continue to support a library at the BAM South site. However, it's recently become uh, understood that the funding for that to fit out the library would come from the sale of the first Carnegie Library in Brooklyn, the first children's library in the city. Um, and the cost of that library to the community which uses it frequently and often, it is school children, it is the residents of public housing who are not just at Pacific Street, they are many blocks south of Pacific Street that use that library all the time, the seniors. We don't believe that the demographic would be the same. We do believe that the barrier, and we are over public transportation, is a big barrier. It's a couple of blocks, but it's worlds away in terms of the ability of the current uh, population to use that library. And so I very much would like to see the decisions made today with regard to BAM South, or not made today, but in the future, uh, be uncoupled from the financing of the fitting out of that library um, on the backs of the sale of the Pacific Branch. And um, I support all of the comments that Councilmember Levin made before. This is something that we really need to think carefully about because my fear is a decision made now will irretrieve, irrevocably change what happens in the future. And this is really a jewel in the crown of New York City that should not be sacrificed. Thank you. Uh, let me see if there are any questions. For sure. you. Thank you for being here. Um, Michelle uh, Delos and then Angela Bataille. Joanne, always good to see you. Um, I'm just wondering if you could share some, if there's any difference in what the communities heard um, directly from BPL from what was presented today and um, any future plans um, as Commissioner Battaglia mentioned uh, for, for advocacy because obviously I think everyone is very supportive of the BAM South project and it's, it's really um, about um, as you said trying to decouple the two issues. Well I think that uh, Mr. Nashowitz made it very clear that the cost of fitting out the library would be um, the sale of the Pacific Branch. Um, I think when he met with the community, they, it was a, there was an attempt to make that less um, obvious or less needed. I think it's very clear that that is the plan. Uh, concerns I have is how much of that money will actually go to the library under a memorandum of understanding, which is a detail that has yet to be worked out. I think there are a number of details that they don't yet know about. The willingness to consider a deed restriction, um, I, I think it is going to be dependent upon how the library views whether a deed restriction will add or lose value to that sale. Personally, I believe, and I think something that New York City needs to start getting behind, is the value in the neighborhoods. The value of downtown Brooklyn and its uh, uh, development pressure is integrally linked to the fact that the neighborhoods were strong, vibrant neighborhoods. We give value to the city. We maintain value to the city. We sustain value to the city. And so our concerns are very much that uh, these properties now, once a property is landmarked, we have shown that the value of those properties has gone up. It hasn't gone down. Um, the other concern that I heard was that this is a much more costly of all the Carnegie libraries in Brooklyn. And I do want to point out that the other Carnegie libraries in Brooklyn have had significant investment to reduce those costs and improve their efficiencies. So the fact that this one has been starved from that type of investment is the result that um, they bear a greater proportional cost at the moment. It doesn't need to be that way. Angela. Good morning, Joanne. Yes, good morning. Uh, just very quickly, the, uh, and someone may have mentioned this before, but I don't remember the response. The, the current P Pacific Street branch. Pacific branch. Pacific Street. branch. <laughs> um, is it ADA accessible? No, it's not. It isn't. Okay. Thank you. In, not in 1904. Okay. Could be. <laughs> and I support that. <laughs> not, not a question of not making it accessible. 
Ms. Simon, what is the, uh, the actual distance, as, as far as you know, between the proposed site, uh, this, this uh, proposed site, and the current uh, Pacific uh, Library branch? This is the current site, right? Right. You would be entering the Pacific Branch is right here. Okay, this is Pacific and Fourth Avenue. Right. So this um, semicircular structure is the back. Mm -hmm. It's a really a quite remarkable uh, structure. Uh, so this is Fourth uh, Avenue, difficult to cross. This is Atlantic. This is that Flatbush Fourth and Atlantic maze. Okay. Um, and people would have to come. This is the current library. We'd have to go all the way over here. That's actually quite a distance, but the users from that library come from several blocks south and, and west. So for example, we have uh, public housing begins at uh, Wyckoff Street, at Warren Street, and then another block, at the longer blocks, the east-west blocks. So it's actually quite a distance, and it's also a very um, dangerous intersection. I did attach to the comments that I had submitted previously. <laughs> Uh, uh, some uh, a, a graphic of the intersection where um, actual accidents have occurred, and uh, that was submitted along with my comments previously. Great. Thanks very much for being here. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.